Hello and welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. In today's video, I'm going to be, well, doing an experiment. This is something that I've heard about, but I've never done. Uh, I really haven't even heard of what the outcome was like. Uh, I just heard of people doing it, or at least the thought of doing it. And that is using vinegar in a vibratory cleaner, such as this one, to clean rust off of uh, stuff. Well, metal, things that rust. Now, I've got some reamers here. These reamers came out of another machine shop. Uh, they're forming reamers or chamber reamers. Anyway, uh, you can see here, here's a close-up of some of them and also some headspace gauges, headspace gauges that, well, they've been neglected and they've gotten rusty. So I'm going to try to clean the rust off of them using vinegar and a vibratory cleaner. But I have no idea if this is going to work or not, uh, but hey, you're invited to come along and watch. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next video is coming out. Now, let's go ahead and get these guys in here and see what happens. All right, ooh, ah, yeah, it's vinegar all right. Now, this is just the vinegar that I got at Sam's Wholesale, or Walmart, same thing, uh, and I uh, put two gallons in here, all right? So I'm going to, yeah, okay, it's, it's not submerged, so I reach down in here and get the handles out. Yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and just put the reamers in here, submerge it, turn it on, and we're going to come back and take a look at it. My God, no, it's not really all that bad. Uh, although, you know, it smells like vinegar. I suggest, you know, doing this in a well-ventilated area if possible. This one is really bad. Right there on the end. I think you can get it. Okay, hopefully, well, hopefully the rest will just fall off, but uh, you and I both know that's not going to happen. But uh, we'll see what does happen. I don't know, maybe a miracle will happen, and yeah, it does fall off, but I seriously doubt that. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Into the vinegar. Uh, go ahead and turn it on. Was it time? Yeah. 40 minutes. The vibratory cleaner has shut off and it's still working. Uh, that vinegar heated up actually uh, performs quite well. Now, I haven't lifted anything out. I'm just seeing the action going on right here. I don't know if this will focus at this close. Check that out. Uh, maybe you can get a good look at it. But it's actually eating the rust off. Now, I don't know to what extent yet. I have not pulled anything out. And like I said, the machine, the unit is off the heater is off and also the uh, vibratory part is off. But the vinegar has heated up and it is still working. So uh, I'm gonna pull this out and take a look at it. All right. Now, this is uh, <laughs> a big surprise for me, really. A while ago I was joking about the rust just falling off of it, haha, uh, that that's not going to happen. Well, uh, it, it did, kind of. This, this is really cool. All right, deeds came out much, much better than what I ever would have expected. Uh, I have not done anything to these other than just pull them right out of the vat. I haven't blown them off or anything. Matter of fact, they're still wet from the vinegar. Uh, it, it literally, it, it got the rust off. I was really, really impressed. Now you notice that some of these are black, all right? All the headspace gauges and this one homemade reamer is black. The reason why is because of the type of metal it's made out of. I do not know what tool steel, 4140 or 01. Uh, probably. But the other ones are more professional uh, <laughs> made 
Well, the headspace gauges are too. I, I don't know what this metal is. Uh, I, it is steel. It is carbon steel. It is tool steel. But anyway, when it comes in contact, when it comes in contact with vinegar, it uh, turns black. So, wow. The rust did come off of these. Now I'm going to just wipe them down and wash them off. I'm not going to take a brush to them. I don't think I'll need to at all. I wish I could really get some better close-ups. There's a little bit right here on this one, right there. As I'm sure there's some other ones in here. Like I said, I just pulled these out and I was impressed by how good it did do. But just a quick hit with a brush. I, why, I'm impressed by that. Now I went ahead and put some baking soda on these with some water. I ran water over it first and just got the vinegar off of it and put baking soda on it. And I want to rinse that back off now. The baking soda is just to neutralize the vinegar. That's really impressive. It really is. Um, I'm going to be trying this on other parts, larger parts with uh, this is tool steel, tool steel versus mild steel and the way rust attacks it is different. Um, so it's easier to get um, rust off of hardened steel sometimes versus a mild steel. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to dive further into the whole hot vinegar versus rust thing. Uh, I, I think this is promising, but you know, again, you know, tests need to be done. Uh, I, I can't emphasize enough how impressed I am of uh, how well those uh, came out. But hardened steel, like I said, they may look a lot worse than what they really are. I've seen it before. So anyway, uh, I hope this video helped some of you guys. If you have one of these vibratory cleaners and you want to do some experimenting, you know, getting rust off, i.e. via vinegar, uh, go ahead and give it a go. You know, it, it worked on these. I want to do more experimentation, like I said, and, you know, see if it works on other things. Um, preferably softer steel, uh, something that's really heavily rusted. I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying that out. So, hey guys, I appreciate y'all showing up and watching my videos. And uh, I'm up to over 4,500 subscribers now, and that's all thanks to you guys. And I appreciate that 100%. 100%. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I'll be back uh, in a couple of weeks, three weeks. I'm not sure yet. I've been really, really busy here. There are links down below in the description area uh, for the Vever if you're interested in getting one of those. Also, my diffuser kits for the powder coat guns, the Eastwood and the Harbor Freights. Be sure and check those out and check out all my powder coat videos. They'll be list over here somewhere to your right. And uh, y'all have a good one. I'll catch you on a couple of weeks.